Hello and welcome to another weekly update of Vacation Rentals here on Oahu. My name is Brian with Holly Puna Real Estate. Really busy week uh, for new listings, total of 20. I don't recall the last time we've ever had that many new listings in the market in one week here. And then total of eight sold properties, six of the eight were cash transactions. And this week I'm going to start for each property telling you what the current owner paid for the property, how long ago. So. Let me know if that's a value to you or not. Um, maybe in the comments, I, it takes quite a bit of time to reach all this stuff. So, but if it is a value to, to uh, viewers, I'm happy to provide it to you. Um, so let me know, yeah, if, if uh, it's something you want me to continue doing moving forward. And also despite 20 listings this week, inventory for quality listings still is very low. So if you're looking for a vacation property on Oahu, I just counsel patience because uh, it's not easy to get under contract uh, in the current market. And lastly, you may have recently seen headlines stating that Hawaii is attempting to eliminate all vacation rentals. A little misleading. The state of Hawaii is trying to pass some regulations and it looks like it's almost certain that in the next in the upcoming weeks that these regulations will be approved. But each county kind of has different goals uh, on what they're trying to accomplish. And so I'm only speaking specifically about Honolulu County, which falls, Oahu falls under. So in Oahu, the government and the hotel industry last couple of years have been really trying to eliminate 30 day rentals, particularly single family homes or any property that's in a zone residential area being used as a short term vacation rental property. Now, if these regulations do pass, the, all, the big impact it's going to have on Oahu is that it's, it's going to phase out 30 day rentals um, in, the, in the residential zoned area. But if you own a property in the resort districts, you're totally fine. There's still a lot of, it's still a seller's market. A lot of people are still looking to buy vacation rentals here on Oahu. Um, so I just want to be clear about that. Okay, now let's get started reviewing these properties. We got to have a lot to cover. This first one, Studio at Hawaiian Monarch. So this property was last sold in 2016 for 153,000. It had been listed on April 1st of this year for 310,000. For some reason, they took it back, took it off the market, put it back on five days ago at 298. Look on 11th floor, 247 square feet. Here's your views here, monthly fees and what that covers. I'm not gonna go spend a whole lot of time on this listing because again, I just covered it several weeks ago. But at this price, 298, oh, I wouldn't be surprised to see it go to escrow pretty quickly. Moving on, another student Hawaiian Monarch. This property was last sold in 2016 at 159,000. It's on the 13th floor, listed at 308,000. Studio, 255 square feet. Here's your views here. Nice looking studio, it looks pretty well maintained. Great views. We got Diamond Head, the Alawai. I think that's priced pretty well. Moving on to Island Colony on the 32nd floor. This is a one bed, one bath at 500,000. This last sold in 2001 for 229,000. It's 563 square feet. Here's your views here. Monthly dues, what it covers. Now the highest selling uh, one bedroom at Island Colony is a uh, 550,000. That was on the 40th floor. But based on these pictures, and just again, the lack of inventory. I think this unit's gonna go into escrow pretty quickly. I like like the condition it's in. It does have some ocean views, not stellar ocean views, like the highest selling unit in the building, which had just direct, really stellar views. But this does have a some ocean views up the lanai. You'll see it in a, in a picture in just a moment. So there's your Lenny and I shot. You'll get some wonderful sunrises over here. Yeah, they took some nice pictures there. Uh, moving on, Marine Surf on the 20th floor, price is 575,000. This is a studio, 392 square feet. Does come with parking. Last sold in 1999 for 118,500. Here's your views here. 
monthly dues and what it covers. If this sold at 575, this would match the highest selling studio ever at uh, Marine Surf. And I'm guessing this is gonna go pretty quickly. Uh, the last new listing at Marine Surf was back in November of last year. So no competition in the building, not in the best condition. I definitely wanna get this refreshed if I owned it or was gonna advise a client to maximize rental income. And I was just looking at an Airbnb recent, Airbnb listing in another studio in Marine Surf. Did not have ocean views, stellar condition, and their nightly rate was $200 a night. So there's your little ocean view there. Your pool deck, not, not the most appealing pool deck. So you have a couple of restaurants down here on the main floor and very appealing again that there is parking that comes with the unit. Again, I'd like to see it in, in a little better condition for this price point, but I'm guessing it's getting gonna go into escrow pretty quick. Okay, back to Hawaiian Monarch on the 28th floor. This is a one bed, two bath, 576 square feet, price at 578. This had been um, on the market back in February of this year at 660. And it last sold in 2016 for 189,000. So again, since this was back, I'm just listed in February 2024. I already reviewed it. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here, but some good pictures as well. These units have been selling pretty quickly around this price point. I would prefer to have a someone going to buy this maybe more around 600,000, maybe a little below that would be a much better entry point, but it's definitely nice that they dropped this from 660. Moving on another one bed, two bath over at Hawaiian Monarch. This is on the 28th floor, also priced at 628. This had also been listed uh, just a month ago at 619,000, so they upped the price here. It had sold in 2016 for 145,000. I mean, very similar to the last unit. But in good good condition. Again, I think I think these are probably are gonna sell definitely sooner than later. So next we have this one bed, one bath the island colony on the 34th floor floor, price is 640,570 square feet, no parking. Now just a reminder that the highest selling one bedroom island colony at this point was a unit that sold last year on the 40th floor for five hundred and fifty thousand, had very similar views of this unit. This unit's nice, but it's just, this is vastly overpriced. I would be very, very surprised if it sold anywhere near this price point. And not too keen, here's your living room, really over furnished in my opinion. I mean, very congested to have this bed here, as well as a couch. Uh, if you see this in person, it's just really crowded, but you do get these great views here. This is my favorite side of the building, obviously. They get these ocean views. Nice job here with the kitchen. It's a nice unit, I would, but I would definitely want to have my clients make an offer more on the 575 range. Oh, and this one last sold in a December 21 for 373,000. So they definitely um, are asking a premium. Okay, back to White Monarch. This unit one's on the 38th floor. Another one bed, two bath, price at 688,000. Uh, this last sold in 2015 for 170,000. Just a few pictures here. I actually prefer the lower units a little better. Definitely the conditions they're in. And just in this stack, even though you're on a 10 floors higher than those other units, the views are just not, I mean, you're gonna have some nice kind of mountain views, but I prefer to be in the other stacks. Okay, next, Ilikai Marina. This is on the second floor, price is 740,000. It had been listed back in 2023 for 805,000. It last sold in 2002 for 240,000. 651 square feet, one bed, one bath, no parking. You can rent parking on site. Here's your views here. Monthly dues are, are quite expensive and everything it covers here. Now, curious thing about this one is that the owner's also selling the boat right here for 115,000. I'll show you a picture of that in just a moment. So second floor unit, 
You are going to be doing obviously with street noise. This chart house restaurant is actually going under renovations. Um, I think they're spending $4 million. So it's going to be a really nice uh, place once it's reopened. This building is very basic, no common area amenities other than a laundry room on the eighth floor. So no swimming pool. And then this is the modern hotel over here. You can walk, take this breezeway. And then one building over to the right, you have Ilikai. But here's the boat right here. My guess is that if uh, you could probably get a pretty good price on both if you bundle them together. Pretty nice looking unit. I think now that they relisted here at 740,000, you're definitely in a much, much closer to market market value. Not bad at all. Again, a pretty good price point. It's 740,000, curious to see what happens here. Okay, over to Luana Waikiki. This is on the seventh floor. Nice one bed, one bath, 676 square feet. This had been listed in two, 2022 for 839,000. It last sold in 2005 for 630,000. Now asking 925. You know, it's 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 very rare to have parking. Uh, there's I think there's only six or seven units that have parking deeded to the the, the to the property. This had, this unit has great views. I have been I was in this unit when it was on the market back in 2022. I had a client who might be I thought might be interested. But look at your dues here, very expensive. And I just don't think it's gonna sell in the nines. Nice views here. And just a reminder is that recently the association passed a new rule that if you do not use a hotel uh, for management, if you self-manage or use a third-party management company, your guests, if they wanna use the uh, amenities, hotel amenities, the pool, exercise room, barbecue area, they have to pay a $30 nightly fee now, which to me is super expensive and makes this building a whole lot less attractive if you're not going to use the hotel management services. But it's a really well-maintained. I like how the unit's furnished. And the fact that it's parking is obviously a, a huge value, but I just think they're asking too much there. Okay, Rich Carlton on the 26th floor. 1.18 million. This last sold in 2018 for 1.3 million. It's a studio, it's 601 square feet. I'm not going to go into details other than that on the Ritz Carlton or Kalahi, which is formerly known as a Trump, because these really just don't make very um, attractive uh, properties for most investors. If you want more information, just contact me directly. Uh, Kulima East. This is a nice one bed, one bath, 599 square feet, price at 1.2 million. They are pushing the price. Uh, this last sold in 2020 for 530,000. They did a whole bunch of renovations. Beautiful unit, but they are asking a premium for this uh, for this unit 1.2. But there's very limited inventory over in Turtle Bay area. This is again, the only community, Kulima East and West are the only spots over there, as well as the Ocean Villas. Well, the whole Turtle Bay area is the only spot you can do legal nightly rentals. And speaking of these new regulations that are likely going to pass, that's going to eliminate a whole lot of competition. So I really believe that it's going to be very bullish for nightly rates and valuations for properties that are in the legal resort zones uh, moving forward. But again, this is a beautiful unit. Just 1.2 is a little rich in my opinion. Okay, okay uh, Waikiki Shore on the sixth floor. This is the price at 1.475. Haven't had many new listings in Waikiki Shore for quite some time. This was last sold in 2017 for, for 1.395. Very spacious, 781 square feet. A few units do come with parking, but this unit does not. Here's your views here. Waikiki Shore is the only Legal vacation rent rental building that's smack on the beach in the Waikiki, Honolulu area. Unfortunately, you're not a little higher because obviously your trees are obstructing what could be a really stellar view, but you will get some amazing sun sunsets over here.
this building they recently remodeled remodeled the common areas nice it has split ac very nice looking unit i think if it had better ocean views that weren't obstructed by the trees they could probably get this price point but i'd, I'd be surprised to see it going escrow at this price point Good thing about this building because it has so few uh, amenities and really a basic building. Your dues are really low, 519. Okay, going back to Ritz Carlton, 1.5 million for this one bed, two bath uh, property. It last sold in 2018 for 1.888 million. So these owners are looking to take a loss here. Trump Waikiki, which is now known as Kalahi. This is a uh, one bed, one bath on the 21st floor, 1.55 million. Uh, this last sold, sold in 2011 for 1.29 million. Okay, another property over at Kalahi on the 28th floor, 1.9 million. Incredibly, they paid uh, 3.4 for this back in 2014. So taking quite the hit if it sells at this price point. Another one at Kalahi on the 28th floor at 1.95 million. They paid 2.6 million for this back in 2014. It's a two bed, two bath. Another hit they're gonna take. Same owners. Um, this one over at the Ritz Carlton, 1.995 million. It's a two bed, two bath. Last purchase in 2019 for 1.765 million. Another Ritz Carlton. This is a three bed, three bath, 3.8 million. Last sold in 2022 for 3.39 million. And then last new listing for this week, Ritz Carlton as well, 3.98 million. This last sold in 2018 for 4.275 million. So obviously taking a loss there as well. Now moving on to sold studio over Island Colony, 24 days on the market. Sold for 325, 15,000 below list price. That was cash. Another one, cash transaction, seven days on the market, $12,000 above list price. Sold for 410 on the 33rd floor. Quick transaction there, cash. Reset Beach Walk, long time on the market, over one year. But still, just ten thousand dollars below list price. But I looked, I showed this unit several times to clients while it was on the market, and I believe that they originally started five hundred forty, maybe five sixty, around that price point. That was a cash transaction. We want a white key on the second floor. One hundred fifteen days on the market, so for six fifty. This is a kind of neat one. It had a very large lanai, almost as large as a living space. Elikai. This is on the 15th floor, 90 days on the market, 770. One bed, one bath. That was conventional financing. The other one, Elikai, eight days on the market. This is a this is a nice one. I like the stat the stack a lot. This is a good price, 793. And now this nice one bed, two bath over in Kulima East, 31 days on the market. To me, that's a really nice price point. Million dollars cash. And here's a nice two bed, two bath over in Kulima West. 33 days on the market. Conventional financing sold at list price, two million fifty. And that is a wrap. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or are looking for property here in Oahu or actually any island on in Hawaii, contact me anytime. I'm happy to serve you uh, directly if you are looking on Oahu. Otherwise, I can refer you to some quality agents on any of the other, any other islands. But thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll be back next weekend. Aloha.